new setup is weird. All right. I haven't talked to a camera in like a month, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. But hi everyone and welcome back to a Knit California vlog. My name is Leslie. I am Knit California here on YouTube and also over on Instagram and TikTok. And today is the final vlog in my Knitting the Ingrid Top series. Finally back for the third and final episode in this vlog series on knitting the Ingrid top. Spoiler alert, it is done. I'm wearing it. Um, but in this video today, you're going to see the final steps of me knitting this. You're going to see a little bit of footage from me wearing this on my camping trip up to Shaver Lake, California. That's where I was last week. And then I'm going to come back and close it out. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone. Today is Friday, July 14th. It has been a while. It has been a while since I have worked on my top and updated you on the progress. But I have finished the stitch pattern for the body. Let me show you. Here it is. So what I have left right now is I need to do the bottom hem and I just need to pick up and do the finishing touches on the armholes and the neckband. So it's really not that much work to be done, but I put this on pause because I had <laughs> the need to start working on a cardigan with this worsted weight really beautiful yarn so I've been working on that the last week instead of just finishing up this tank top that I really don't have very much work left to do so we are going to get this finished up as soon as possible today or tomorrow or this weekend I do have a busy weekend planned I have plans for tonight and then I'm going up to LA Saturday and Sunday, but I think, fingers crossed, it, I will have some knitting time uh, between all of these things to work on this. Yay! I'm so excited to get it done. Lily Pup has decided that this is her bed now, but I'm sorry, Puff, I need this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh no, you're so sweet. But can I have it? Can I have it? Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice and warmy though. Thank you. Using four millimeter for the body. Should I go down to 3.5 or 3.25 for the hem? I'm gonna do 3.5. So I was making pretty good progress here and now I'm realizing this is all I have left of my yarn and I'm halfway through this folded hem 
So I need to do like 10 more rows and then I'll fold it and knit it together. And I also haven't done any of the top finishings. So I still need to do the neck and the two armholes. So I'm pretty sure I don't have enough yarn. Um, my only option, because I only have, this is my last gain. I'm sorry if you can hear the background noise. My only option is to frog back. This is what I just knit, but I can frog back to this and make this the last repeat row. It'll make the top about an inch shorter, which is fine. Um, but I'm just annoyed that all the work that I've... I just hate frogging because it feels like lost time. But um, I'd rather have enough yarn to get this finish than to run out of yarn. So it's just frustrating, you know. We were so close to being good. Oh yeah, yeah. I marked the uh, beginning of round where I'm gonna start picking up. You sad about my top two? Or do you just think it's time for dinner? It's not time for dinner. It's only 3.45. I'm sorry to tell you it's not time for dinner yet. I love you. I think I got it picked up all the way around. Cross your fingers that this frogs perfectly. I'm gonna start wrapping this up how, with what I already, I'm just mumbling, just mumbling to myself. I'm gonna start wrapping this up. There we go, it's frogging. It's pretty annoying that this was like literally all of the work that I did today and I just have to rip it out but you know sometimes that happens. Ooh, we got a snag. There we go. It'll be okay. Better safe than sorry. So sad, little pup. Oh, are you gonna comfort me? I love you. What are you doing? Are you confused? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going the wrong way. I know. It's okay. Ooh, I The pup is very confused about this. Huh. What's happening, the pup? Okay, we're getting close to the end. All right, we do, we're doing this. Is I perfect? Oh my gosh. did it, I was perfect in picking up my stitches. All right, I just made a mess <laughs> onto the floor. I really uh, 
made a mess for myself here. <sighs> I did it. That literally took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I'm also, I've said this I think a million times, but I'm considering picking up the neck pieces first and then coming back and doing the hem with everything that I have left. We'll see. I have to go now though. I'm doing stuff uh, this evening, so I won't even be able to do it today. Literally everything I did today is back in this ball. <sighs> so I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, so it's Monday, July 17th. Um, like I said, I had a very busy weekend, so I didn't get the chance to film anything, but last night after I got home and got settled, I did a little bit of finishing work, so let me show you. I finished the folded hem here at the bottom of my ingrid top, and it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with it after the whole frogging back <laughs> debacle, but it's looking great. So today, I'm really hoping today, well, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it all today, but the rest of this week, we got arm, arm, neck band, we got to block it, we got to get it done. I am, or we are leaving on Saturday. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We got five days to get this done. Piece of cake, but let's do it. Did I touch your butt? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's gonna touch your butt. Why don't you scooch a little bit, okay? There you go. Now it won't touch your butt anymore, okay? Sorry, I'm still touching your butt. I know, I know, we are in touching your butt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Move. So, the armbands are picked up and they look so good. And I just picked up the neckline and it's also looking pretty good. I picked it up and then I did a decrease round like right after I did the pickup. So I did knit three, knit two together all the way around. So um, I just didn't want the neck band to be super wide. I really wanted to bring it in a little bit, especially because you can even see the front is still like curling a little bit. Um, but the other piece is that I am playing yarn chicken. So I'm supposed to be doing six rounds, then a purl round, then five rounds, and a folded collar. So I'm going to attempt to do all of that. And hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, I have enough yarn here, but um, I don't know. If I get towards the end, then I'll have to rip it back and do less rounds. I would really love to do the folded collar to mimic the hem down here, and I just think it looks really nice. 
and I think it would sit really nice on the neckline but if I can't do it up here then I'll have to think of something else but um, it's going really well and this is the last thing I have to do and I'm so excited okay let's keep going I have a surprise it's done okay let's talk about it though so this neckline <laughs> double folded collar neckline has been giving me so much trouble binding this off i just had a really hard time folding it over and like picking up the correct like row of stitches eventually i've tried i tried like everything um i tried knitting it together with the row i tried binding it off and then sewing it down but i bound off too tightly i eventually ended up basically doing a three needle bind off so i like picked up all the stitches on the inside with a second needle um and then bound off that way it's still a little tight like i can't i can only get this over my head if i take my glasses off and i feel like it's really pulling in on the back up here and I feel like maybe I overcompensated for the armholes and now that everything has been pulled in through the neck these are riding up a little bit but I think what I'm gonna do is block this and because it should grow a little bit lengthwise and widthwise with blocking because it's a cotton linen yarn so We'll see how it grows with blocking and then I'll decide if I need to redo the neckband. Um, to be honest, I probably won't redo the neckband, but hopefully things just like grow and settle out a little bit with blocking. But um, I'm really happy with how the neckline really pulled everything in because it was feeling really like open and the neck felt like it was a lot lower if you remember and it was definitely like curving over which is not doing that anymore um you can see some of the holes maybe got a little bit wonky with how i picked up the stitches over here for the neck but like overall it's fine and then i am hoping that like this will just like lay a little bit more flat after blocking too um but I like how it comes in closer to the neck like I can just wear like a you know regular sports bra with this and it'll be fine and the length okay so remember I had to rip back like an inch the length is perfect like this looks great so yay all right let's go block it So that blocking scene was supposed to nicely transition to me wearing the finished object in a beautiful camping location. However, the neckline is too tight and I'm gonna redo it. So we're gonna do that first.
is our last full day here up at Shaver Lake and we're finally going on an adventure. We're gonna go see some redwood trees, hopefully a waterfall. We're gonna go to a different creek and uh, I'm finally wearing my tops that I made. So, well, let's go. McKinley Redwood Grove was closed. They're doing some sort of work in there, but I'm really bummed because I wanted to take a picture with a redwood tree and my red top. That was the vision. So, blah. A Okay, I'm back. I really hope you've enjoyed this three-part vlog series. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background just in case you forgot on this pattern and just some final thoughts on what it's like to wear it. So this is a heavily modified version of the Ingrid top. Uh, it's a pattern by Gregoria Fibers and the yarn that I ended up using for this is from Terrapin Fiberworks. This is her Deer Creek Fingering Base, which is a 60% organic linen for 60% organic cotton, 40% linen base, and the colorway is called Heart's Core. So when I originally bought this yarn, I had two full skeins of it. Um, because cotton and linen is a little bit heavier than wool, I didn't realize this at first, but 100 grams is 386 yards. So I had two skeins of this, and I really thought I was going to run out. You could see in the last video, I felt like I was playing yarn chicken a little bit. Um, I do think, well, let me just show you. This is how much yarn I ended up with at the end. And I do think there is a little bit more in here than I thought there was. I think I probably could have gotten a couple bit, a couple more rows done on the body. But I'm happy with the length that it's at now. I'm happy with the overall fit of it. Let me just show you. I also had my gauge swatch. So I could have ripped this out for, you know, maybe another one <laughs> or two rows. Um, but overall, I'm really, really happy with the finished garment. The one thing I would say is I think the neckline, even though this is the second time that I did it, is maybe still a little bit tight, but even wearing it over the last couple of weeks, I do feel like the top and the back part of the neck, especially, let me see if we can see it. Yeah. The back part of the neck, I do feel like it's relaxed a little bit. I do feel like it's starting to stretch a little bit more. Um, you hear a lot that cotton and linen grow a little bit after blocking, just with like the weight of gravity, and they just don't have the same memory and elasticity that wool has. At first, after I blocked this, I didn't really notice 
a ton of growth from this fabric, this material, but just in the, you know, last couple of weeks of wearing this around, I do feel like it has started I have started to see that happening a little bit so maybe it just happens a little bit more over time but again overall like I said I'm really loving uh, this top I am really really proud of myself for doing all of the math and figuring out the measurements um, for how I really wanted this to fit me and for using the yarn that I had versus the yarn that was recommended for this pattern. Um, if you watched episode two, I don't know, one and two I think, uh, I realized right away pretty much that <laughs> I was using the wrong weight of yarn. I really should have been using like a DK to worsted weight yarn and I had a fingering weight yarn and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make this work and so I'm really really proud of myself um, and happy that I did make it work and obviously it's turned out pretty well. I really think this opens the door for me to do this for other tops in the future, um, potentially start designing my own designs in the future. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself and I'm not going to commit to anything now, but like the seed has been planted in the back of my head um, from doing this, which is really exciting. I was really happy to use this cotton linen blend yarn um that was one of my one of the things that i really wanted to focus on with this top was just using a summer fiber and a blend at that cotton and linen um because it is different to work with compared to wool and i wanted to see number one what the knitting process would be like and number two how it would wear over time and so now it has this top has only been done for has only been finished for a couple of weeks so the wear I'm still not 100% finalized on yet but the fact that it is a tank top um, I do feel already more comfortable wearing this in warmer temperatures. It's like 90 degrees out today. It has been 90 degrees for like the rest of this week, earlier this week. Um, and I did wear this yesterday. Now I have been inside in the air conditioning. But uh, I did go out to get the mail, so that counts for something. And, um, you know, obviously the... Th with the eyelets on this stitch pattern, this is a very like breathable top as well. So I really think this is a good one for uh, your spring, summer, and early fall wearing, at least for me. So I'm trying to think if I have anything more to say about this. Let me check my notes really fast. No, all of my notes are really just like the math of figuring out the measurements and everything. So, yeah, I had a great time filming this vlog series for you. Both the filming piece of it, the editing piece of it, and again, like I've mentioned multiple times, the knitting piece and just doing the math and figuring it out for myself. So. I hope you enjoyed um, these videos as well. I know it was something different from me and on my channel, but I really hope to do other videos similar to this in the future. So if it was something that you enjoyed, please let me know down below. Um, if you're just seeing this video, go back and watch the first two because uh, I think probably the second one is my favorite. The second one has the most views, more than the first one. I don't know why, but... It is what it is, um, and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't risk so you don't miss the rest of my content. Um, a new podcast is coming out very soon because it's been a long time since I've done one of those, and I'm excited to show you what else I've been working on besides the Ingrid top. I hope you got some time to knit today, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, mm -hmm.